Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to show a new way to track changes within your model. This workflow utilizes Trimble Connect and is done by uploading different versions or snapshots of the model that will then allow you to compare the differences between those versions using a new functionality available in Tecla Structures version 2021. So to begin to show this workflow, the first thing that we want to do is upload this model into Trimble Connect. So I've got it most of the way there and I want to upload it uh, to have it be reviewed. This project that I'm using was submitted in our BIM Awards competition in the Small Models Project and it was a great example uh, that I wanted to use in this workflow. So to begin, like I said, what I'll do is go ahead and upload this model into Trimble Connect. This is the snapshot of this version that I want somebody to be able to review, or it's at a specific point within the project that maybe we're about to get some change order documents to come in or whatever, and we just want to have a, a baseline that we can then review as we make changes into the model. So now that that's uploaded, I'll come over here and launch my 3D view. This will open up Trimble Connect for a browser and it will load in the model and you can see that that I'm able to now view and interact with the project. So to simulate a, a typical workflow is if you were to share this with somebody they could come in and review it. And there's a specific area that we have in question on this project and I'm just going to isolate it with some clip planes so let me just go ahead and add these here real quick. So we'll look down and the specific area of concern is this angle. So we're not quite sure where this angle should be positioned uh, in relation to the wall, uh, this specific distance. They've gone out and created a point cloud scan and we're gonna utilize that in the workflow. And you can also see over here that I'm missing a connection. So let's say that the person reviewing that wanted to communicate that information to me. So the first thing that they could do is activate uh, this dimensions command and then they can come over here and dimension to the back side of this angle. As you can see, that dimension is coming in in metric and I want to change that to come in as imperial. And I'll set this to be feet inches and set my precision to be a 16th of an inch. So I'll close that and then my dimension will be updated there. And then I also want to flag this area indicating that it does need a connection. So I can add in uh, a cloud there I can also come in and add in a text markup. So let's say we wanted to just cloud this and I'll go ahead and click. And then the text that I want to insert will be a missing connection, for example. So as the person reviewing this, I wanna communicate this back to the detailer that's using uh, Tecla Structures. So to do that, what I can do is I can come in and I can create a to-do. So for the to-do information, I'll just fill this out and I'll just say for the title, missing connection, and I'll say add missing connection and verify dimension with, with point cloud scan. All right, and then I can assign it to somebody. In this case, it's just me working on the project, so it would be assigned to me. Then I'll go ahead and click on save and then what that will do is it will create a snapshot with these annotations that will then be available uh, to that person within Tecla Structures. So if I come back into the Tecla Structures model, I can hit this to-do button and this will give me a list of all of the to-dos that have been created on the project. And as this opens, I'll be able to view this list and now I can just double click on this to-do. I can double click on the view and that will then change it to a perspective view and zoom me into that location. And you can see that I have the text and the annotations and this is the area where I need to come in and work. So I'll go ahead and minimize this uh, for now. And just to make it easier for me to work in, I'll switch this back to orthogonal. And the first thing we need to do is deal with this dimension. So I need to turn on the point cloud scan and have a look at things here. So let's go over here to the point cloud button here and I'll go ahead and turn on the scan. And one of the new things that have been added is this clashes section over here. So if I come over to the right hand side, I can define tolerances that I want to use in my project. So I'll just go ahead and modify these to something um, that I wanna use on the project. And now with those set up, as I come in and select model objects, 
it will then uh, colorize the point cloud based upon the tolerances that I've defined. So if I zoom in here a little bit closer, you can see these pipes. I'm here uh, close in proximity. And on this pipe right here, I'm actually uh, clashing. It's, it's uh, hitting that angle. And then over on that side, of course, we have that going directly into the wall. So if I come in and make some changes, let's say we need to come in and move this angle. So let's move this uh, a half inch in the Y direction. I'll go ahead and click move. My view will refresh. And now I can see that it's not clashing anymore. Uh, I'm still close. It looks like about two inches or so proximity wise, uh, but that should be okay. So with that moved out of the way, I'll go ahead and turn off my point cloud. Then the last thing that I need to do is come in and add a connection. So to save time, I created a custom component here that I'll just go ahead and place into the model. So I've made the changes. Now I can come in here and I can run my numbering. And then to communicate these changes back up to the person in Trimble Connect so that they can view and verify, I'll come back to Trimble Connect here and just click Upload Model. And that will save and upload the project. Uh, I'll mention here if you're using model sharing, you have the option to automatically upload these versions each time you create a, uh, a write out or a baseline. You have the option to choose. So that will just happen uh, as you share the model through model sharing. So now that that's shared, what I'll do is just come back here and add a note in the to do and say that uh, missing connection has been added, angle moved by a half an inch and I'll go ahead and add that comment and send those changes up that way the person reviewing in Trimble Connect will have that information and we'll take a look at that in a minute uh, but here within the model this is one of the primary things that I wanted to show is I'll remove those annotations uh, I'll clear out um, those clip planes and then what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to hide the entire model just to make this real easy uh, to show as I demonstrate this. So with that, what I can do is come to this models button and this will allow me to load in the different versions of the model that have been uploaded into Trimble Connect and allow me to do a comparison of those versions within Tackle Structures. So if I come down here, I have this versions button here and you can show right now it's showing the latest version, that's version two, so we can zoom in and verify there's the connection uh, that was added and then if I pull the dimension from the wall to the angle we'd be able to see that but let's say maybe I forgot or it's been a while uh, since we've made those changes and I just want to compare them so I can just turn on two different versions and then it will colorize the model for me and show me the changes that have taken place and then I can also come in here and click on one of these lines and over here let me close this on the right hand side I can see the differences so I can see the old value and the new value so primarily here with length because we added in the connection uh, the length has been shortened and then I can see changes in the the area and the volume and that sort of stuff uh, but this is really powerful just to easily see these changes uh, that have taken place so again if I click on the new I don't see any of the old values because it is new and I see the new values that have been added but uh, this is nice and color coded and accessible for me at any time um, to compare these versions. And then as the project progresses and I upload new versions into Trimble Connect, uh, those versions will be available here and I can toggle between, show me the changes between versions two and three or, or four and seven or, or whatever the case may be, whatever is helpful um, on the project. So again, like I say, this is uh, quite powerful to easily see the changes between the model. Now, if we go back into Trimble Connect, I'll go ahead and refresh this. Uh, so make sure that I get uh, the new version of the model and the changes. So if I come in and take a look, by default, Trimble Connect automatically loads the latest version of the model. So I can see that there. But let's say maybe we had forgot or I was, uh, didn't do the initial review or something like that. I can come to the to do and I can load in uh, this view so it automatically loads. And then I see the original annotation. So I see a dimension here. And then I see that there was a mission connection. And then obviously I have a connection there as well. And I can come down here and I can read the comments. So it says the mission connection has been added. So I can verify that there is a connection and that the angle has moved by a half an inch. 
So to verify that, I can come up here, activate my uh, dimension command here, spin this around, and I'll just dimension to the back side of the angle there. And now I can compare these and say, yep, you know, it was one foot six and a quarter. And I can see that's short now. And now it's one foot six and three quarters. That matches the half inch uh, dimension. And because these versions are stored, uh, another thing that I can do, let's say that I wanted to see the to do with the original model version that it was created with. So I can just simply load that in and see, okay, yep, there, that connection was missing. And then I can spin this around and verify that uh, dimension there. And then it'll also alert me here that there is a new file version that's available. And so I can just click to load that and this will show me the latest version. And then if I click on the view, it'll zoom me back in and I can see that. So, so this is a very clever way uh, to use those versions uh, in to-dos to see the before and after so that you can refresh your memory and also in Tecla structures to easily colorize the model based on the differences between those versions. So as mentioned, this is available in Tecla structures version 2021. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.